Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Royal Goose. Hey, so anyways, I interrupted with my, it's a creep, blah, blah, blah. You, so what we were talking about last yeah. episode, for those of you who weren't here. Yeah. I, I asked Elliot, like, how do you try to influence people and maybe change their mind on things? In an appropriate way. In an appropriate way. Or one way that's actually going to fucking influence somebody. Yeah, or actually maybe convince them to change their mind. Because, like, so many people don't change their mind on things. No. no. So? Number one point. Listen. That is seriously the biggest thing you can do. People are like, oh, I listen, I listen to what other people have to say. Or like, okay, I listen to what you say, now it's my turn to talk. No, you're not listening. You're just fucking waiting. You're listening to the words coming out oh, of their mouth. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think you already missed one anyway. Feck. <laughs> um, you're listening to what they're saying so that you know exactly when it's your turn to fucking talk. You just disregard everything they say, right? You have to actually listen to where they're coming from. Even if, like, the logic isn't there and what they're saying doesn't make any fucking sense... Um, here, no, 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 to the left more. Uh, oh, see, God. that's what I was saying. You missed that one already. Oh, I did? Yeah, first wow. time you missed that. Oh, well. Um, Whee! you have to be considerate, right? Like, you've mm -hmm. got to pay attention to what the fuck they're saying so that you can see why maybe they fucking think this. Um, two, don't expect to actually change. Oh, nailed it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Change their mind with one fucking discussion, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to talk to somebody and have them change their mind, the idea that you're gonna fucking actually change their mind by having one conversation with them, that's not gonna fucking happen. You need to fucking give them things to think about so that on their own time, when they're not pressured to have, like, a change in opinion, they can go look up more information and establish opinions of their own that are maybe more based in reality. And, uh... So if, for example, James, you came to me and you're like, fucking, I'm a horse, dude. <laughs> And I think that shit's fucking dumb. Uh, I don't think you're a horse. I'm not gonna convince James' mind that he's not a fucking horse right now, right? The appropriate thing would be like, Oh, well, why do you think you're a horse? Actually, listen to what he's saying. Uh -huh. And don't just be like, Okay, well, now that you talk, I'm gonna tell you why you're not a horse. No, say like, Okay, um, James, you think you're a horse because you have a long mane of fur on your neck? Uh, alright, well... That's interesting, you know, like, a lot of horses do have that shit, and, uh, you, you do have kind of a valid point that does make you similar to a horse. Um, but, you know what? Um, here's the reason you're not a horse. Uh, most horses are like this, you know. Fuck me. I know some people who maybe think they're horses too, but they, they were researching and, like, checking this website out, and, you know, they, they weren't really a horse, but, you know, that, that's interesting. Thank you for telling me about you being a horse. Then, the horse dude might go and look up and fucking, I don't know, educate himself and be like, I'm not a fucking horse. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. And then, the last part of this is, um, in big groups, also you're not really going to change anyone's mind. People tend to get defensive even when they don't mean to. So when you disagree with somebody, it's very easy. you got to check your fucking self, big time. A lot of people, they'll be like, I'm going to be calm in this situation and just keep it real cool and collected. When in reality, they're just like, holy shit, like, fuck you, you don't agree with me. Like, yeah. no. And even more so when there's a bunch of people around. Uh -huh. So try and be one-on-one, -on -one, not online, and then those, that's the best way to have a conversation with somebody to change their mind. Wait, even when there's more people around at the current setting? Yeah, usually that's that's um, more people feel extra defensive when there's other people because now because they have not, an audience. Yeah, because now it's not oh James, why do you think you're a horse? It's oh James, us fucking six people think you're a fucking imbecile for thinking you're a horse. Because so, then, uh, okay. so then people tend to tie it to their identity. Like I can't be wrong. I can't let these fucking god damn it. Oh, are you serious? Oh, you fucked. What the? Th I don't think you can get all eight coins the first time. Uh, no, I can. I think the last one is inside the, uh, place that you have to use the blue cap to get into. Well, the the, play, the platform that I was about to land on, the switch was there, so... Yeah, but is there a cap? I think you have to backtrack all the way to the bottom of here. Um, uh, we'll, we'll find out. Okay. Um... Anyway, as you were saying. So yeah, there's like this mob mentality, in defensiveness. Mob, mob mentality. mentality and uh... defensiveness. So whenever people feel that they're being, you know... Subject to uh, criticism, criticism by a lot of people. It's a lot easier to be like, "Oh, all of these people are assholes. They don't actually want to talk." Um, it's easier to, it's easier for your feelings to get hurt. Yeah. So you're like, "Fuck you. I'm right. You're wrong." You know. 
So if you have a conversation with someone, actually pay attention to what they're saying. Don't criticize them. Like, actually fucking listen to what they're saying. You're way more likely to change their mind. Hmm. Those are all the fucking key parts. Even, th even then... Sorry. <laughs> even right. then, like, it's never a guarantee. I mean... No, don't always assume that, oh, well... I'm smarter than this person. I'm gonna change your mind. Like, yeah, see, check it out, dude. Oh, you're right. Good shit. Um, no, no, that's that's just not a fucking guarantee. Yeah, that's that's actually something I really had trouble understanding for a long time. Just the when fact you're that posting online and stuff. Yeah, the fact that it's like people, people generally just don't change. Yeah. Like even the shitty thing is like. People say, like, be the change you want to see in the world. Mm -hmm. Try to influence goodness on other people. Right. It's like, it's like, imagine if it was the opposite. Imagine if someone was like, be the, the bad you want to see in the yeah. world. Try to influence other people to be bad. Yeah. If, if there, people were to come up to me and be like, hey, I'm going to change your mind to try and make you bad, I'd be like, no, fuck off. you. Yeah, fuck yeah. up. So and like, in their mind, that's how they perceive it. So, right? so yeah, it's like, how do you... Yeah, Ch navigate that line. So it's like, when is... Wow, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. The, the fact that like people generally won't change, it, it's kind of an unfortunate, but it also kind of good thing. Like, sometimes it's... We're talking about a really complex subject right now. No. Yes. Damn. Anyways, you know what? So I'm not blabbering too long about this. Yeah, no, Elliot, I think your point is really good. Yeah. It's totally good. Just... The last bit I'd actually like to add for that is if... You really believe something and you think it's really wrong, like, again, somebody being homophobic, mm -hmm. and you see somebody being fucking homophobic in, you know, um, in your day-to-day -day life. If they're just fucking rambling on, you know, whatever, just ignore them most likely. But if they're actually, like, picking on somebody or putting somebody else down, that is absolutely a great time to speak out and fucking voice your opinion. Yeah, because even though it's most like a person will be like, Poof, whatever, yeah. you're not going to change my mind. I'm yeah. People are fucking stubborn, dude. Yeah, but take that with a grain of salt. I also see people who are just like, Did that person just say the fucking B word in public? Did that person just say, bitch, they're fucking ruining everyone's day? It's like, no, okay, let that shit go. Like, just because you don't agree with that shit, they're not actually like fucking... Unless they're calling somebody a bitch, right? Mm -hmm. Unless they are like making somebody else's day worse. That is not the time that you are going to fucking get a positive result. Instead, you're just going to get called a bitch. Because you're and, just going against the flow. Yep, and you're both going to be angry. But if they are calling, like, you know, uh, a woman or something a bitch, sure, go fucking. ahead and step in and let them know they're fucking wrong. But if they're just fucking being a dickhead, just let them be a dickhead. <sighs> that That's the final, uh, final bullshit I got to fucking put on there. <laughs> Philosophical goobs. <laughs> Philosophical goobs. Fuck, God, I know I can do this. I know I can... Mad goes bad. It's like, you've seen How to Train Your Dragon too, right? Nope. Um, like, without... Big surprise. Huh. Oh, yeah, right. Big surprise, of course. You've seen the first one, though, right? Yes, in band class. Yeah, I, I, I do. don't remember, like, any of it, though. Yeah, because you and I, we... Because in band class, we played the score from How to Train Your Dragon. That was Hell, long. yeah. Well, all, all I'll say is... Fuck, okay, you I know don't it. think you can do this, dog. Ugh. Okay, one more try. Because, like... Yeah, let me try. You want to try? Yeah. Wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I know what to do. I know what to do. Check this out. <laughs> Never mind. Can I try? Yeah, sure. Go yeah, for okay. it. Okay. This is what I was going to do. Wait. No. Hold on. And eh. eh. then jump off that. Oh. I don't know see. if you can do that. Yeah. The, dude, the wall jumping is so much harder in this. In Mario Sunshine, they fixed it because you can just slide down the wall and just jump whenever you want. Here, yeah. you have to do it right when you touch the wall, otherwise you can't. Yeah. What the hell? Ah, you almost got it. <laughs> Even then, I don't know if you can get up the freaking uh, hand railing. Yeah, no. <laughs> Come on, Mario! What the fuck? Now I can't even fucking like, do that jump. <laughs> what the hell? My mm. dude. <laughs> oh, close. Yeah, what do you think about all that shenanigans? What I was going to say was in How to Train Your Dragon 2, like, Hiccup, he he's like, they're, they're like these bad guys, and he's like, I'm going to change their mind you. about, I'm going to change their mind about dragons. Mm -hmm. And the whole time he's like, I'm going to talk to the main villain of this movie, and I'm going to convince him that dragons 
can be good creatures. I'm going to change his mind, and he has to learn the hard way that it's like, no, unfortunately, eh. Yeah. Fuck yep. me! Okay, you know what? Done. No more. Done. Secret of the Haunted Books. Okay. Yeah, baby. So it's just, I guess the, po the, the under, the message that I'm trying to, the question I'm asking is like, how do you influence other people and make the world a better place when so many people are stubborn and refuse to change their ways? Mm. You know? I think it comes in two ways. There, You do have to fucking speak out against people being total shitlords when they're actually being total shitlords. If people just have, like, bad ideologies, mm -hmm. then it's okay maybe to, like, you know, criticize them. But don't personally, like, don't attack them personally. Right? Mm -hmm. If you just result to like, oh, you're a terrible human being, like, that's not gonna fucking fix the problem. You gotta tell them like, oh, you know what? I don't think that you should think this for this reason, but why do you think this? You know? You're more mm. likely to be successful. And if you do see somebody actively, you know, being a shitlord, then that's when you gotta step in. Even if they won't change their mind in the end. Yeah. But if they're actively like hurting somebody else in that moment, right? Mm -hmm. Then you can step in and, you know, fucking Stop them. Okay. Yeah. Next time on Royal Goobs. Love you guys.